Hey everyone, today we are continuing to explore the new 3D features in After Effects and I want to talk about something uh, I missed in the previous tutorial. If you didn't see the previous one, go and watch it because today I'm not going to talk about how to organize the scene and how to import the 3D objects. We already covered that in the last one. So go and watch it if you don't know how to download and import 3D objects. So in today's tutorial we will learn how to create a super cool a lightning animation. As you can see here all the shadows and the lights are moving in a very interesting way. And no I didn't uh, make it using a bunch of light layers and animating uh, their positions. As you can see I have a light layer here and it's not animated at all. So let's not waste any time and get started. Alright so first let me show you how simple this scene is uh, real quick. You can find the link for all the assets I'm using in this tutorial in the description below. So along with the, my 3D objects and the camera, I created uh, two solids that I converted into a 3D layers. One will be the wall and the other uh, the floor. One little thing about the color of these uh, solids is that they are not uh, pure white. And I did it because uh, my skin looked uh, too bright with the white solids. So I made them a uh, bright gray. The floor is a bit brighter gray. And this is how uh, the scene looks from the side. Very, very simple. Okay, so let's start with the tutorial. So to create an interesting lighting in the scene, first I'll create a new environment layer. I'll set the intensity to 100 and make sure the cast shadow option is checked. And as you can already notice, we have some nice shadows in the scene with a new environment layer. To make the scene look even better, I downloaded a cool studio lighting HDRI file. So I'll bring it onto the scene. And now to make it affect the scene, I'll go to the light options of the environment light and change it to the HDRI file I have here. And here I've got some nice lighting set up in the scene. But now I want to change the light and the shadows directions in the scene. For this, all I have to do is open the transform properties of my environment light layer and change the X and the Y rotation until I get something that I like. If you don't see the changes in real time, make sure to switch the preview quality to third or quarter. And now you can find the perfect look for your scene. Moreover, you can animate these values to get the light and the shadows to move. So let me show you how I approach this task. First, I try to find a good look for uh, how the scene will appear at the end of uh, this animation. For example, I love to have this cool shadow line at the end of my scene. So I'll go to the end of my scene, let's say it ends at the second number 8. So now I'll create the first keyframe for these values. Then I'll go to the beginning of the scene and adjust the values to how I want the scene to start. Make sure not to change the values too much from the values of the last keyframes because the lights and the shadows will move very fast and it will look like uh, party lights. Okay, so now we have a nice and dramatic vibe in the scene. Note that you don't have to use an HDRI layer to animate the environment light. Maybe this is the look you are uh, going for. And now to improve the look even more, I love to create a new point light layer with these values. Then I'll place it between the wall and the 3D object. To see where uh, to place it, I use different views like this and move the layer to the right uh, position that I want it to be. And now as you can see we have a nice bright halo behind the object. To finish things up as we did in the previous tutorial I'll create a new adjustment layer to use as a color filter. So first I'll add the curves effect to give the scene a nice contrast look.
Then I'll add uh, the sharpen effect to make the scene look in high quality. If your scene still uh, looks bad and it's not in high quality, you can always hit Ctrl K or Command K to enter the composition settings and from there uh, go to the renderer options. And when you click here, you can improve the look of your scene by adjusting uh, these values here. We talked about these values in the previous tutorial in depth. So if you want to learn more about it, uh, go and check it out. So that's it guys, later I added a simple camera zoom out animation and created a nice text for the title. If you learned something new today, like this tutorial and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and bye for now.